honestly had no time at all for brewing. Between work and kids and editing and filming and all that stuff, I have not had any time to brew lately. Today, today, I've got an extra hour thanks to daylight savings time. And I'm totally using that extra hour to make beer. Let's go. I mean, you can tell I have brewed in a while. I mean, just look at all this water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen five gallon jugs of water. So what am I making? My brother-in-law wants another beer. He wants it ready for the weekend before Thanksgiving. He's a light beer kind of guy, not a super hoppy guy. Definitely doesn't like the dark beers. So I thought I'd make him something light and drinkable. I'm gonna make him a cream ale, but I need to have it ready quick. So I'm gonna speed up the fermentation process. in. I'm gonna try something new today. So, what am I gonna try? I am gonna try mashing in this kettle and then transferring my wort into this kettle and boiling in this kettle. I've got three kettles, I've got three burners. I figured I might as well try to use them. All right, I'm gonna go from the bottom port of my mash tun. I'm gonna go in through the whirlpool arm on my boil kettle. Open. 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 I love it when a plan comes together. I've also got a new toy to try out. A pocket refractometer. Seems pretty easy so far. I just calibrated it. Took all of maybe like 30 seconds. You gotta do a long press after a short press. Uh, but I zeroed it out. Now it's time to measure my work. Collected my tiny little sample. They give you this tiny little pipette. Short press to boot up. Cover the dropper with work. Short press to measure. It does fit nicely in my pocket, super tiny. Comes with a little lightning adapter. So far, so good. So let me tell you a little bit more about this beer that I'm making. My brother-in-law, he likes yellow fizzy beers. And I don't blame him, they're delicious. So I built him a kegerator and I told him, yeah, every time I brew, I'm just gonna brew more and I'll make you a five gallon keg every time I brew and I'll give it to you. 
And I've done that two times since I built it for him almost a year ago. I'm a bad brother-in-law. So Uncle Jeff, this cream ale is for you. And honestly, I'm gonna be there, so I'm gonna get the benefit of drinking a delicious cream ale as well. So my recipe for this one, nine pounds of Pilsner malt, one pound of flaked corn, and I did add eight ounces of American honey malt in there. What am I doing for hops? I've got some Lupo Max Cascade. I'm gonna do a half ounce at 60 minutes and a half ounce at five minutes, and that's it. Let's get it in. Quite honestly, I'm excited to drink this. I think it'll go great with all the turkey. And now, all that's left to do is chill this bad boy down. It's transfer day for the cream ale, and it's only Friday. Um, it is Friday, I brewed on Sunday, so it's been about five days. It's hit its final gravity within a couple days. Just because you can get a beer done fast doesn't mean that it's always going to be its best. If it has a little bit of time to condition in the keg, it's gonna end up being better. But I've got my Firmzill all-rounder in there, and I've got that Lutra Kvike that's sitting in the bottom, and I made a cream ale, which to me, just kind of seems like a really big starter. I've got plans for you. I'm gonna save you for later. In the meantime, I'll keep you cool. Well, it's a nice day, and I'm sorry, Uncle Jeff, but I just couldn't wait. I wanted something light and drinkable. It's not quite clear yet. Uh, it's got that typical homebrew haze, but it's only been seven days. I mean, I literally brewed this beer last Sunday. I gotta think a large portion of the great flavor I've got from this is that root shoot malting that came from Colorado. So big kudos to Northern Brewer for sending me the, all the ingredients to make this beer possible. My afternoon today would just not be complete. Without them, this beer would not have been made and it is crushable. I'm gonna be sad to see this beer go. But the good news is, is you know what? I could just brew another one. I'm gonna have my recipe down in the description below. I'm also gonna have a link down there for that handy dandy little refractometer from FJ Dynamics if you wanna pick one of those up for yourself. They did give me a code to share with you guys so you guys get a certain percentage off. Um, I will be honest with you, they did send that one to me for free. I haven't had any issues with it. Works super easy, super convenient. Don't have to have a large sample. But if you wanna pick one of those up for yourself, check that link down in the description below. They are on sale through, uh, I think, November. I'm gonna want this one on tap. Hopefully I don't go through the whole thing before Thanksgiving. And hopefully, you guys all have a happy Thanksgiving. Cheers, catch you on the next one.